Hey again, everyone. All right, next prompt uh, we have, what does magic mean to you? And for anyone who's seen any of the stuff I've put up about energy, uh, working with energy, um, that essentially is magic. That's what magic means to me. Magic for me is the ability to work with your energetic surroundings to influence a change. And that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So energetic surroundings. What I mean by that is working with the elements, working with your intuition, working with just everything and anything that crops up around you that has meaning for you. And basically just acknowledging that it's there. I think that's the biggest part about magic, is acknowledging that there is energy around us and that there is something in the air that we don't understand and we don't know. And acknowledging that puts us into connection with it, I think. And once you're into um, a greater connection with the energy around you, then you're able to kind of almost call it up at will. You know, you you sit and prepare for whatever it is you're doing and you have a better idea of where you are in the grand scheme of things. Um, what I am in relation to the thing that I want to achieve. And by building or by first acknowledging that there are energetic connections and then by actively building out a connection to the thing that you want, the change that you want to happen, um, that process, I think, also qualifies as magic. That could be more like spell work or prayer or whatever else you want to call it. I differentiate between spells and magic in that magic is ever-present. Magic is all around us always and as energy and energetic connections. Spells, prayers, etc. These are the tools that we use to connect to specific pieces of that magic and to influence it. Um, that's basically all magic is to me. Um, it's fairly simple, I think, of an explanation, but sometimes simple is good. Sometimes simple works, especially when it's something that can be taken for granted. I think that is probably why we don't have more active magic in the world, because at some point in our lives, as we grow up, we learn to kind of suppress our intuition, we suppress our imagination, and all the things that we did as children are no longer acceptable as adults, and therefore the magic just kind of dissipates. It doesn't disappear, but it's no longer present in our lives. So just that simple act of acknowledging it brings it back in. And that, in essence, is magic to me. So a very short definition, but hopefully a useful one, and I think one that many of you can relate to. So for all of the rest of you, I would love to hear about your definitions of magic. If any of you have done videos on this topic, let me know and I'll take a look. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!